guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this nail tutorial. So it's a simple, quick and easy and I really hope you enjoy. So if you want to do something like this for yourself, then just keep watching. So today we are just going to shape our nails because we can see like some parts are like longer, some parts have nail varnish, some it just needs shaping and sorting. So, so we're first going to use our nail clippers. So some people might find this a little bit revolting that I'm cutting my nails and something fell already. Lovely. It won't be a Alicia video if something didn't fall. So I'm going to use our nail clippers. So if you don't know how to use them, you just flip this over like that and you can clip your nails. So we're not going to go all the way down to the nail uh, bed because when the glue goes over it will sting. So what we're going to do is just cut around here. Don't go too far down. For some reason this one doesn't clip that well, but as you can see my nails are off so I'm just going to do that for all of them. We are going to go in with can I get it out? the nail file. So this nail file you can use this one that is in the nail clippers or you can just use another one and we're just going to round them. So we're just going to go around, make sure there's no harsh edges, no nails like that are pointing out. So now we're done with these, we can get on to my favourite part, which is gluing our nails. So the nails that I got, I'm just going to have a quick drink. Um, the nails that I did get are from eBay, came in this, our little secret by Vixie, and you literally get loads of them. I think I got about 700, might seem a lot, but when you're doing your own nails all the time. Um, it becomes a lot easier. So they all actually came in this packet, um, but these are, I've kind of like separated out to the ones that I know that work for me best. So you guys obviously take your time, measure up on what works with you and what doesn't, um, but these ones work for me. So obviously everyone's nail bed is different. It's either shorter, longer. I wish I had like longer fingers. I know it sounds weird, but they're a bit stubby and short but hey ho we will we will sort that out so these are the ones that you get and you actually get numbers on them and inside like the nail um just so you know so i'm just going to sort them out and obviously again like i said it's literally just mix and matching but i like the coffin shape so you guys don't have to get this shape you can get a different one so as you can tell that one is a lot better than the other one so what I like to do is put them on here and you can actually trial and test with the same nail anyway just to see if it works but this one seems a little bit too small so I might go with the one with this hand because your hands are never symmetrical so this hand I know it has like bigger a uh, bigger nail bed than this one this one's like quite small so gonna go with this one for that hand so I'm just gonna leave it on this side but obviously this is for my left hand and this is for my right hand now is my favorite part we're gonna put these on with the adhesive uh, professional nail glue so you have to cut off the top with this one but it's like a little stubby point and you're just gonna glue the nail down so squeeze the tube and you literally do a little dot you brush it side to side. I'm not squeezing the tube anymore because that is enough glue on there. Probably the tiniest bit more. And just before, obviously, check that will be in the middle. Put it down. Make sure you straighten it and just press it. And that is your first nail. Quite easy to do. So we're going to do the same for the others. So down, don't squeeze the glue loads or you can get like a painting glue. I'll give you guys um, an idea of different glues that you can use. Okay. 
obviously try and make sure that your nail is on straight because you don't want a wonky nail. So that is your nails done. So obviously you can see they are super, super long, but I love them in this shape. Though so we are going to shape them. Obviously because they're plastic nails, they're not too bad to shape. So again, we're gonna go in with our nail file and just shape this bit. So it's better if you do like hold it onto um, somewhere tough like this. So you can really hold or you can use your nail I mean your finger, this is not a nail. So you can use your finger and lift it up and just make sure you get a long square end. So just like that. So you can tell, well I can tell the difference. So this one I haven't done and that one I have. It just makes it look neater. So I'm gonna do that with all of them. Shaped at the top, we're just gonna shape the sides because these ones are a bit too rounded for me. I kind of like a straighter edge. So we're just gonna shape them. We're just gonna go across. Keeping the nail file straight. just gonna create a straighter edge so I don't know if you guys can tell from that edge compared to that edge it's a lot straighter so they are now your nails so we are going to paint them so I don't really do a base coat with these you can if you want to but I don't really do it um, but you can go and shake this usually with this one you don't need that many coats usually two would do you most so obviously So obviously you're starting from here and bringing it all the way up on the side, do it slower, all the way up, the other side, do it all the way up. Make sure you don't leave any bits but it doesn't matter if this is a bit like streaky because our second coat will stop that from happening so don't put too much on. Start from the bottom, bring it all the way up. And just do that for all of them. This is your final coat. Really brilliant. That's what happens when you don't focus, guys. We are now gonna go in with our nail polish remover. You can get this from literally any store, anywhere. And what you're going to do is not get a cotton bud because that would just be disastrous. So what we're going to do is just get a, not cotton pad, sorry. We're just gonna get a cotton bud. Just tip it in, creates no mess and all the product is literally just in that little bit. And what we're going to do is just clean up those little bits that we don't want just to make it look a lot neater. But they are our white beautiful nails. So now we are gonna go in the best bit, which you've probably seen over there whilst I've been talking but it is my lovely, gorgeous nail gels. Now, your nail gems can come from literally anywhere. You can pick these up from like craft stores or you can go to Primark, but obviously right now, quarantine, don't worry. I'll link some stuff in the um, description below um, just so you guys know exactly where to get them. 
um, but these ones are my favourite. So I'll show you what we have in here. So we have all types of gems. So I'm not actually going to use like the stars or any of these. I'm actually going to use this one here, which is the um, kind of like a silvery, silvery tone one. And we're going to use the pinky uh, colour. So I have noticed like these quite cute big gems, so I might go for them. Um, so what we're going to do is take our glue. We just get actually use like a tiny bit of paper. It doesn't really matter. I've just got it off the cardboard. So put that on. Well, the glue that we are going to use is actually going to be the top coat nail gel, only because it's a lot easier uh, to use. So just dot that on. And we're gonna try and find the gem. I like this has got the two bits on let's try and see if I take them off that's fine so is because it's a bigger gem oh. because it's a bigger gem what we're going to actually do is pop that in the middle make sure it's enough for the gem to actually stick on Make sure you get it the right way around. And just press it down with your hand. That will be our first gem. So now we can actually try and see if there's any colours in here that we like. So might go for a cute little pink moment so again my colours are all literally like mixed together so it's not very profesh but hey ho so we're gonna get our gem just put the glue on the side and press it down Again, just literally randomly anywhere. It doesn't have to be like a certain pattern that you want, or if there is, then obviously try and see if you can copy it. Got quite a few on this one, so it doesn't really matter because you're going to use the pink one anyway. kind of fiddly it does get annoying if you can't get the gems on right but once you do it does get fun so now you can see like a random pattern starting to happen with our middle finger so we're just going to go in now create two dots there And just literally get the gem, pop it on. There. So that is our first name. So I'm trying to think. We do have these cute little flowers, so it's, we can keep to them. Try and see if we can get the same colour or one of different colours. So got four nails left so we need four of them so again these ones pop it into the middle put that on and you can go different ways with them so you can do like I don't know like another one just on this side just do it there mainly sticking together which they would which is fine Place them, try and do them equally, and there you go guys, so it's kind of like a Barbie, Barbie effect look, which is, which is actually pretty cute. So, I'm going to go 
in with the second one and do this side on that one. So we're going to collect our beautiful tweezers again. Go in the middle. And go in with a big pearl one. So we're going to go in with a bigger pearl one in the middle of this. It's going to be fiddly because obviously you have a hand that you work with and write with and a hand that you don't. So it's going to be a bit weird um, but you can work with it. So obviously you see what you've done on the other one. Now because the other one was um, just a test to see what we could do we're gonna actually start differently with that one so see I've got those two hot pink gems so I'm gonna put one at the top oh. at the bottom of it sorry and the other one there try and get it as close to the other nail as you can So what we're going to do is actually do a top coat, just so they stay intact and stay in place. do the gems first because it's easier and then you can just brush up so thank you so much guys for watching my youtube uh, tutorial on how to do these nails if you obviously want to see anything else like this then please do tell me dm me instagram or on twitter um or like share and subscribe and i will obviously show you more videos as soon as Bye guys.